now we have to get in some processes. How do we get these innovative ideas? And naturally, I think uh, Latvia lately has been very famous in being innovative in banking sector. So maybe we can um, see how we can get also very innovative in very positive way. And I'll give floor now to Carlos Jonas on his research of design thinking in finance sector. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Carlos, and today I'm going to present you my bachelor thesis on design thinking in the finance sector of Latvia. This briefly summarizes what I'm going to be talking about today. And first up, I'm going to be kicking off with why design, why finance. And instead of talking in language of design, I'm going to answer that question in terms of business. In this graph, you see a summary uh, of two market indexes, one of which you know. S&P 500, and other one, DBI, which stands for Design Value Index, that summarizes top 15 companies which are design-driven in the United States. What determines, what is quite interesting here, that design-driven companies have outperformed the market, namely S&P 500, by 211 percent in the in the past 10 years. What is what determines design-driven company? That's company where design thinking and design processes are at the core of the organization. Where in, in, which org in organizations in which investment design is growing and design, is, uh, and design thinking awareness is among uh, the management. Moreover, why finance? Recently, finance industry has been quite troubling due to fintech disruption of uh, traditional banking services. And what's more interesting that the changing consumer needs is the key aspect where disrupting fintechs are challenging the banks. And most recently, Banks have like, like kind of understood that and been implementing a, a different innovative initiatives, as for example, creating in innovation centers and hubs and so. And therefore, I set to research how design thinking is perceived in banks and fintech companies in Latvia, namely with two, with two research questions. Whether there is a difference between the perception and how does this perception in different stages of design thinking differ? So, but before we head there, I'd like to emphasize a bit, a bit on this. Design is not necessarily design thinking. Of course, we, can, we design uh, websites, we design chairs, even this microphone, but we design business models as well, and there is where the design thinking process comes in. And therefore, I'm going to sh introduce you with it. So uh, design thinking process is based on five key stages. First being empathize, where individuals and teams concentrate on the end user of the product or even uh, an individual in a, in a company creating a project and uh, understanding to whom he's delivering. Moreover, when that's understood, it's defined in a common goal or challenge that these, co that these individuals and teams want to solve. Moving on, in the ideate stage, they brainstorm on different solutions, how this challenge or this goal could be re reached. And most importantly, the final two stages, prototype and test, where individuals and teams bring their ideas into reality in uh, minimum prototypes and test them, gain feedback, and then even start from the beginning to work on that feedback and create the best product possible. Moreover, Design thinking is not that unfamiliar in the finance sector. Uh, and according to my uh, research, uh, it can be, uh, the finance, design thinking in finance can be summarized in these two statements. That traditional finance companies are currently heavily investing in uh, innovations, in innovation hubs, where, and in, in design thinking workshops. While in fintech companies, well, they were kind of b born that way because uh, that's the way how, uh, like by concentrating on the consumer uh, and the, the key needs of their, theirs, and testing their solutions, uh, they kind of have that perception higher. So, oops, back to my research. So uh, in my research, as I said, I was researching how design thinking differs between banks, um, between employees in banks and fintechs. And for, for doing so, I created a survey consisting of 10 questions for, uh, for each stage, two questions. Uh, situation questions that had regarding situations in design thinking process that had to be rated from one to seven. How uh, strongly is that uh, is uh, 
appears in their environment. Moreover, um, I aim to uh, uh, do this survey on 118 respondents from banks and fintechs. And in the second part, to, to indicate whether there's significant difference, I did a regression analysis. And most importantly, here comes the interesting part. I did six interviews with uh, experts from banks and fintechs to understand uh, their stance, why the results, what are the, why are the results as they are. Uh, these were um, my uh, experts that represented three, like, uh, three from banks, from SEP and Citadelle, and, and three experts from startups, from Twino and Mintos. So the results and analysis. In total, in my research, uh, 135 respondents participated from whom majority were from banks. Moreover, this graph over here summarizes the, the average results how bank employees from banks and fintechs value design thinking processes in their companies. And clear trend can be seen that employees from fintech companies perceive it higher. But to indicate the difference, I did the regression analysis. And um, overall, there is significant difference between how it's perceived in banks and fintechs. However, only in four out of five stages this, the difference is significant. So the interesting part, discussion, what did the experts tell, right? So uh, in this part, I'm going to present the opinion of fintechs, the opinion of bank experts. And in three out of uh, five stages, I'm going to introduce you with some facts from academics, what they have researched. So empathize stage, as you, as you saw, the difference was little or basically insignificant. And as banks and fintech experts explain that, that consumer as uh, the first like, thing in business is communicated is, like, is the base of every business. And moreover, what uh, bank experts uh, shared is that customer centeredness is, uh, is communicated across the whole organization. But what depends is how deep the understanding of user is. And that's uh, already another research. Talking about the fine stage, here's where the first difference appears. And um, as you remember, Define is about defining the challenges and goals. And in smaller organizations, as FinTech shared, it's easier to sh create a common goal. While in banks, you have this uh, large organization with many departments, with many businesses, with shared goals, that kind of create a mess there. And academics uh, confirm the same, that lack of focus on defining problem and defining challenges is the key obstacle for implementing design thinking. Moreover, on the IDH stage, as I said, fintech companies are just born of the way. They don't, they have quite some constraints in uh, creating products. They don't have much time. So they create small idea and go and ideate that. Well, uh, interestingly, uh, as I said, banks, many departments, large departments, legacy systems that have to be maintained. And therefore, quite many uh, uh, roles are operational. Whereas, uh, as experts shared, that, uh, of course, uh, in uh, employees who are more client oriented will do design thinking activities more. And uh, academics confirm the same. Moreover, prototype stage. That was the stage where the hugest difference was seen, according to my research. And um, again, fintech companies have these constraints that, as for example, time and budgetary constraints, that motivate them to act quickly while, in, interestingly, in uh, banks, as uh, experts shared, prototyping is not that practice due to the fact that they don't want to deliver incomplete solutions in the market because like, they have a huge existing customer base and they don't want to kind of uh, fail in their eyes. And uh, interestingly, what academics say about that is uh, that actually employees and banks just due to their daily routine in work, uh, lack time in participating activities as brainstorming and prototyping. And finally, testing stages. As a uh, fintech expert shared his opinion on this, in larger organizations, you have to build a larger business case, and therefore leaving uh, less time for, uh, for uh, activities as testing. Well, whereas in smaller companies, for instance here in this case in fintechs, you, you just don't have time. So you have an idea, and you go for it, test it whether that works, and move on. And what's other thing that was mentioned is that quite crucial aspects are the openness of the team and the encouragement by the manager, which might uh, differ in uh, different organizations. And that's one of the key 
things which actually are for uh, are regarded to design thinking that you can express your opinion. So, and to conclude, first of all, I answered both of my research questions indicating that uh, there is a significant difference in design thinking perception between the employees in banks and fintechs. And that's due to mainly due to their cultural differences. Moreover, uh, the research question two was answered as well, namely that in four out of five stages that we just went through, uh, design a difference in the perception is. And uh, moreover, um, thanks to my referee, uh, I've added some uh, recommendations. And the first recommendation could be summarized in the activities or initiatives. For instance, uh, inviting design experts into teams that would facilitate the process so that teams would understand it is easier. Moreover, under ways like doing workshops, actually uh, like a workshop on introducing these uh, methodologies. What's more, one, with an expert from uh, SCB, I learned that actually they have even their in-house in incubator for their employees where they can work on their business ideas and that kind of teaches them different methodologies and how to work, including design thinking. And the other part, which was emphasized actually by, by uh, again, a banking expert, was that the crucial part of uh, success for implementation of various methodologies, including design thinking, is the openness of the team and the encouragement, as that uh, kind of gives the message to their team members and employees that, uh, yeah, I can express my ideas and I can experiment and I can do that freely. And to conclude, there are successful companies and there are failing companies. And I believe that design thinking makes a difference there. Thank you. Thank you. Questions? Yeah. Thanks. Well, Carly, I, I see you have discovered a lot about design thinking, uh, and uh, you mentioned uh, some recommendations for the fintech companies. Uh, are the would would those recommendations be the same for the telco? Um, actually, or it, there are um, any differences or some specific moments? Um, actually, these recommendations, um, I'd say they even work like. Uh, more are, are, are appropriate more for larger organizations and from my research I discovered that not only SCB like ha like have such initiatives but uh, banks worldwide have initiatives on uh, creating these innovation hubs and inviting experts to teach design uh, teach design thinking for instance even in IBM for instance so uh, that totally applies if that okay, thank you thank you yeah question from audience. Thank you, Charles. I know from your professional experience that you're working in one of the leading U.S. design agencies, and how does those design thinking steps affect your daily life, like in a practical sense? Uh, thank you, Andres, for, for your question. Yeah, uh, that's true, what, what he said. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a UX architect at U.S. design agency, and actually design thinking is, uh, is the base of our work. And in each project that we have, for instance, clients, cl client comes with his challenge, and we go through the whole process of understanding who is their end user and what is um, the, the challenge and the pain points of the end user, defining them and ideating on potential uh, solutions that, uh, that we could work there and afterwards prototype the ideas on wireframe level, test them on our in-house team and afterwards do even testing on the actual users of the product and then do the second part of creating design, doing again the testing, and if needed, go a few steps back to understand that, yeah, this is the, the best solution we can create. So uh, I hope that answers the question of mine, of yours, sorry. Okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Sorry.